Nelson, House of Utatu Nelson Mandela. You know, one has to literally go and grab politicians by hand to make sure that they come through and talk to us because there's a lot of international media and local media who want to ensure that they, you know, they pass on that message from everyone who matters, from ordinary South African political leaders, you know, civil society at large. Now we're joined by Udate Meshwe, Kenneth Meshwe, uh, the leader of AC. DP. That demonstrate, like I'm saying, this is testament to what Utatu Mandela uh, personified, that I had to grab your hand, literally, and we walked all the way to the camera. Actually, it looked so beautiful. We formed a human chain. You were leading us, and it was a long chain of people who loved Tata Mandela, who are convinced that uh, the legacy that he left for us will continue. We have to encourage all our people to continue building on the foundation that, that Tata Mandela laid for us. Some say they're celebrating his life, some say they're mourning his life. Why are you here? It is both. We have to mourn that he's passing on because it is never a, a good thing, a pleasant thing to lose somebody you love so dearly. So mourning has to be part of the process. But at the same time, we have to celebrate his life, celebrate his legacy and all the values that he taught us. My wish and prayer and my members in the ACDP are hoping and praying that the foundation that he has laid for the new South Africa, that we'll continue building on it. If we talk about values and we talk about the ideals that he lived for, look at the issue of forgiveness, for example. When he left prison, he was not a bitter man. Some people expected that he would say, I want to pay revenge for those Boers who did to me was totally unacceptable. I'm going to revenge. He didn't do that. When other comrades felt we now have an opportunity to hit back, he said, no, let us build the nation. Let us go follow reconciliation. Because the man was a visionary. He knew that if we, there was conflict, there would be people who would lose. Unfortunately, they reap the fruits of their labor, the fruits of the new South Africa. So he, he thought the best thing to do to make sure that all those who are part of the struggle do benefit and see with their own eyes the fruits of their labor and the struggle. The best thing to do is to reconcile, talk to one another, build bridges, and together build a new excellent and prosperous South Africa. Dr. Mejra, had you met him in person? If so, what do you remember the most? If not, still, what do you remember the most? I met him a few times. I mean, he was the president of the country. But something that separated him from the other presidents was that Tata Mandela respected everybody. And people of all parties, including me, would get a personal call from Tata Mandela. Tata Mandela would ask questions such as, this is what I'm thinking about this matter. What do you think? He believed in consultation, and he did not only consult people of his party, but he consulted everybody, all leaders of political parties. He consulted because he had respect for every individual, regardless of their social status. And one day, he said in parliament, when some comrades were very uh, rough, you know, when they were dealing with members of the opposition, he said, don't forget, if you are arrogant today, the day will come when a small party will become the majority party. I will never forget those words. When he reprimanded them and said, do not forget that the day will come when a small party will become the majority. So he had the respect for everybody because he understood that those who are small have the potential of growing. And with that, he had respect for people and he tried to inculcate that in other members of the ruling party. So I measure. I really, I really appreciate the time that I was under Tata Mandela's leadership to see how he interacted with leaders of different political parties. And you know, even when they were heads of state who'd visit South Africa, he would always, not sometimes, he would always call leaders of opposition parties and by name introduce us all to the leaders who have visited the country, to the heads of state, including the Pope. Even when the Pope was here, Tata Mandela had us all in one straight line to, to be introduced by him to the Pope. He had an excellent memory. He knew us all. He would say, this is Reverend Mishra, the leader of the opposition party. This is so-and-so. He knew us all by name, and he would introduce 
introduce us to the heads of state, including to the Pope. So he was an excellent man, a wonderful man that I'm solely missing. And definitely, like many other South Africans, we are praying that the, the legacy left for us will continue. When people ask the question, now Tata is gone. Mr. Lemandel is gone. What's next? What's going to happen? They need to see South Africans saying, and also practically doing it, he left the legacy of reconciliation and nation building. This is the time to hold one another's hands. This is a time to say, together, we are going to build on the foundation that Tata Mandela laid for us. Mameshwa, if you were to give us just a memory of how you would remember this legend, Tata Nelson Mandela. You know, I have never forgotten during the second democratic elections after we also gotten some people into parliament. I answered the phone at my hall, house. And to my surprise and shock, I must, I must say it. He said, uh, this is President Nelson Mandela. I wanted to congratulate you. Instead of listening, I took my phone, put it, you know, on the side, and I screamed. I said, love, run, it is the president. You know why? Because it, 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 I couldn't just imagine a president taking his time and calling a house of somebody whom the nation still regarded as, you know, somebody from a small party. So I called my husband, but I tell you, for, for weeks, and even this year, always we remembered he did call my house. So he was a humble man, and we really, we really, we really, we really loved him, and we will miss him dearly. Incredible memories. Melinda Demesho, we thank you very much for joining us here at SABC. We're outside the Houghton House, of course, talking to all leaders, civil society, uh, ordinary South Africans who've converged here to pay homage to Udadu Nelson Mandela.